Okay, guys, so the time has come. I've got my tripod. We're going to do some filming today. I'm going to... I'm just... I am so blown away by the shootability of this bow that uh, it's going to be hard to go back to any other manufacturer. I mean, it holds steady. It feels great in the hand. It's got a good solid back wall on it. Um, I, I'm telling you, I can't wait to get some really good strings on this thing. Um, I've got a set being built. They'll be lime green. I'll even show you the, the paper tune on this thing. It literally took, I think I paper tuned it in less than 10 shots. These up here are mine. Bullet hole, bullet hole, and um, I was back at like 15 foot. So this is a TRX 38. Um, a little bit over 29 and a half inch draw on this thing. I do have some 30 inch mods on the way, but I don't think that I'll need them. I'm running the axial scope and I'll have uh, the shade on it. It should be here in a couple days. And, um, and I've got another hood right here. So this thing, I mean, I'm just sitting here dialing this thing in right now, um, getting a good solid 20 yard, shooting at a Vegas spot down there. I mean, gosh, let's shoot this bad boy. All right, so I forgot to mention earlier, um, the bow came with the Jesse Broadwater grip from Ultraview. I like the feeling of it. Uh, the way I have this thing tuned as well, as I have my, my spacers or my top hats, I have the largest ones on both, both this side, and that way I'm pushing the string over more, and uh, I find it gives me a lot better scope view and everything, which I think I went over that yesterday. But here we go. This thing is quiet compared to the other bows that I have shot. I'm very tempted to sell my EVL, even though I said that I wouldn't, and buy a TRX 34 as a hunting slash field bow, because, I mean, I've never had a bow tune as quick as this did. It just, it, it's really, really phenomenal. And I am just so accurate with it. I mean, most bows that I have, I have to mess with them for weeks, really, to get them to shoot right or to, to get comfortable with it. But this thing literally, I mean, I've done there shooting X's with it and I just went back to the house Retied my peeps out because I realized I tied it too low. Had to bring it up about an inch. That way my head's good and straight and everything. And it was just simple. I mean, it was simple to just get set back up. It's impressive. Let's go look at that. I know it's going to be a good group, and that's a fact. Never, never have I been this accurate. I mean, I've shot a lot, and I know that I've said in the past, you know, you know, I would get groups like like that and think that I was like doing really well. This is where I was resighting the bow after moving my peep. I literally made that shot, made a little adjustment, and then I'm back right. I mean, it's just where you point that thing, that arrow will go. <laughs> and it's just, it's amazing. I'm going to get these pulled out and uh, I'll go shoot some more.
All right, so we just shot some really good group trap there. I mean, it's, it's sailing them. So a couple of things I do want to say about this thing. Like the draw cycle compared to other, uh, other bows that I've shot, this thing is like super, 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 super smooth. And uh, it just, it, it's almost like it barely drops off. I just I set there. So like right here, you're, it's pretty stiff coming back, but it's, it, it's even if that makes sense. So it's not like a, it's not like a, a violent force and then drops off in the valley. It's a really even, even pull and then drops off. Th uh, this one here is 70% let off and it feels great. I mean, I mean, that's such a smooth draw. There's another X. I mean, it's just, uh, it's really effortless to shoot good with this bow. I mean, it, it's mind blowing. I wish that I would have had a Matthews a long time ago. I mean, just to be honest, that's really why I bought this thing because like my white super focus, I just couldn't shoot very well with it. I don't know why I could not shoot well. I would, I would, I would slaughter scores with this bow. I already know opposed to what I have with the super focus. I couldn't ever really get it tuned like I wanted. It's just hard to explain. And then I had a lot of interference, like scope interference and cable interference. And this I don't, I mean, I don't see any of it in my line of sight. And I'm not just trying to be a Matthews fanboy because I've never, cared for Matthews. I never wanted a Matthews, but uh, I knew it was time for something. If I want to be competitive and I want to be good, i done my research and uh, I'm glad this really worked out because, I mean, oh, that was my fault. So I keep having to fix the peep rotation because I haven't put it, I haven't, I, I got to go back to my shot, put a little twist in it. So And that's an X, close to it. So yeah, um, other than the strings, which these are not the factory zebra strings, these are some okay strings, which um, I did buy this bow second hand. And I mean, for it to be a second hand bow, I mean, it's great. Um, so yeah, guys, oh, another. If you're local, please check out Kiwi Bowman. Get you a membership, come up here and shoot. Um, we got some field shoots coming up. You can look online. Um, you can look at Kiwi Bowman. I mean, these are great people up here. You, know, you can come up here and shoot any time of day, any time of night. Um, I mean, it's, I think it's a little past 11 right now. I'm up here shooting. Um, of course, I don't live far from here. You got you know, there's heat. Uh, it's, it's really good, really good place to come shoot. You can just come up here and get your chops and really, uh, really focus in on what you're doing. So this will be the last video I make for a couple of days. Um, I have a, like I said, I've got some more glass and everything. I'm shooting four power right now. I'm really, I'd really like to see what it'll do with six. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm definitely a Matthews fanboy now. So if there's anyone out there that has a V3 31 inch, which I know I could never get one of the V3Xs right now, but um, I would probably trade my EV, I don't know. I kind of want one though. Cause my brother has one, it's at 80 pound and it feels like you're shooting 70. It's just so smooth. And I was shooting in the shop last night and I ain't gonna lie, I mean, I was, I'd had a couple of beers and it, and it was still easy. I mean, it was just like, it felt as smooth as that is. And um, so yeah, guys, I think that the that the uh, the PSEs and all that are great bows. I uh, really enjoyed shooting them. But I believe that I will be on the, uh, the Matthews bandwagon now. And I did compare a couple of other bows too. I did compare Hoyt. Um, I, I shot with the guy up here. 
just went for me. Um, and also, I tried the new Darton, which that bow was awesome. And I would probably have one of those. The Dartons are pretty nice. Uh, those guys in here just shooting were the new dart and target bows and that thing it was a cool bow and it shot really well and it, <clears throat> it feels good too but all right guys y'all have a good night god bless you and um hopefully i'll have some more content out here soon with this thing we'll have to get on the 3d range next or, or the field because i gotta make sure that my tape's on so you guys have a good day god bless you thank you Thank you.